In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome, my dear brother and sister, to our evening reflection. This, sun, uh, this Sunday, having reflected on this day of the resurrection of the Lord, on this second week of Advent, or second Sunday of Advent. But before then, my dear brother and sister, we have wronged God in one way or another. Let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon, mercy, and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us have our reading this evening. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 4, from verse 4 to 5. Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again. Rejoice. Your kindness shall be known to all. The Lord is near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Welcome, my dear brother and sister, to our reflection this evening. And today, I've chosen this special place where we have the statue of our mother Mary. And we ask her, as we take our rest uh, today, that he may grant us also her intercession, that we may sleep well. My dear people of God, from what we are hearing in the reading is St. Paul is inviting all of us to rejoice in the Lord always. And in fact, he says, I say it again, rejoice. Why? Because the Lord is near. My dear people of God, when you've been away waiting for something to happen, something to happen in your life, and it has really taken long, when you get such words that you need to rejoice now because what you've been waiting for is actually coming, you rejoice in your heart. You feel that happiness. And this one, people of God, let it be a word of encouragement to all of us that there is something you've been waiting for all this time. There is something that you've wanted all this time. And maybe because of the discouragements, because of delays and all that, it has never come or it has never happened. So today we are being invited that what you've been waiting for, the Lord is near. And actually because the Lord is near, he's the one who's going to help us so that you can get all these things that we always felt that you're not getting. People of God, as we continue remembering the departed souls of uh, our choir members uh, from the Diocese of Kitui, the Mwingi, uh, Mwingi Parish, we, we still have something to learn from it, that we have to prepare because our Lord is near. We have to prepare because we don't know when is it going to happen to us. So today, my dear people of God, as we rest, I want each one of us to take some time and think and know that we have to rejoice because the Lord is coming. The Lord is going to fulfill what he has been promising to us today. And also, we ask our Mother Mary that she may intercede for us, even the moments that we've given up in life, the moment that we feel like uh, we, have left alone, we are left alone. So today, we are being encouraged that we need to strive and rejoice because our Lord is near and God is calling each one of us that that promise that he has always made in our lives, it will be fulfilled. So, my dear Father of God, may God bless us today and leave us with these words of encouragement this Sunday. Remember, we we lit the second candle, the candle of love. So, may that love of our Lord Jesus Christ always be with us. And in so doing, rejoice, as St. Paul is telling us today. Rejoice, and I say it again, rejoice, because the Lord is near. May God bless us. May God grant us a restful night. And may our Mother Mary also intercede for us. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake you may keep out with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. At last, all-powerful Master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which are prepared for all nations, the light to enlighten the Gentiles, and give glory to Israel, your people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, while without end. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake you may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Let us pray. God of power and mercy, open our hearts in welcome. Remove the things that hinder us from receiving 
Christ with joy, so that we may share his wisdom and become one with him when he comes in glory. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I've been your priest, Father Mika Kibet Kemboi. Thank you so much, and have a blessed night and a week ahead.